Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to bring you an amazing wig by Noriko Wigs called Kate. I'm in love with this style. It's stunning. I've got a very similar one in Godiva Secret Wigs and it, you know, it reminds me of that wig too. So I'm really loving this wig and I'm so excited to show it to you now. I have got Kate in two colours. I've got her in Irish Spice, which I'm going to show you now, and I've got her in Java Frost as well. So a really nice rich red and then kind of like a deeper darker red as well. Really pretty. So I'm going to show you the comparison of the two colours over two separate videos. So Kate and Irish Spice are, so it's a rooted red, but it's really, really pretty. This wig I'm wearing right now, if you're wondering what this is, this is the um, Seville wig, I had to think then, this is Seville wig from Noriko in Crimson LR, it's really, really pretty, and I've done a full review video on this in the last video, so you can check that out, but today it's all about Kate, so when you get a Noriko wig, it comes in a box like this, maybe a little bit smaller if you get a smaller wig, and the label is actually on the wig itself, so I've just got a sticky label and wrote on what the wig is, so it's Kate and Irish Spice, so let's have a look at it. This is just a really pretty short style, really easy to wear, out of the box. You know, you don't have to do anything with this, you can just wear it straight away as it comes, and that's what I love about it. You can cut a bang in if you want to, like you can with any wig, but you know, I like it the way it comes. So I'm going to show you the cap first of all. So you've got the wefting at the back, very breathable, very light wig. You know, you can hold this with your little finger. So it's very, very nice to wear. It's a great wig, this. A great all-rounder. It's great for summer and winter, day and night, events and going to work, going the shops, whatever. I just love this wig. This is actually one of my favourite kind of short styles. It's really nice. And the top of the wig is machine T, so it gives it some permatees, some height, some volume. And you've got um, the bra strap style adjusters at the back to make the wig looser or tighter to suit your head you've got your Noriko label there as well and I've just sewn two wig clips in that's all this needs one would probably be enough but because this is a wig I get a lot of wear out of you know or I will be doing now so I haven't worn it out and about yet but I will be doing you know this is why I've sewn two in just to give it added security so first of all, let's look at the colour. Now, the reason why I've started this video in this particular wig, you know, is because I want to show you the difference. I spoke about this in this wig review. The This kind of colour I'm wearing, this Crimson LR, reminds me a little bit of this colour Irish Spice, but also like a cross between Irish Spice and Sangria R. So it's somewhere in between. Whereas Irish Spice is a bit brighter, you know, or a bit lighter, should I say, than the one I'm wearing right now and it's also got kind of light through it as well so it's got little pieces through so you've got some lighter pieces some darker pieces very very pretty you can already see the gorgeous style of this wig case I love how you've got all this volume as well and then around the face you've got this really sexy longer bang it's really pretty so let's get her on I'm excited so I'm going to take off the one I'm wearing so as I said this is Seville and this is gorgeous. So if you like this wig, you can check it out by the Rico. So I'm just going to pop this one over here. And then we're going to put Kate on. So because I haven't worn it out and about yet, because I've been dying to, but I wanted to review it first. I'm just going to give her a brush. And this is such a great wig as we're moving into August, you know, because you, you've got kind of, the, it's still summer, but, you know, you're going to have those, darker nights coming in and this is just such a great wig to wear I mean any coloured wigs like this anyway with a bit of colour in you know like the reds or you know the blondes they're just really nice to wear to brighten yourself up when it starts going a bit cooler as well so I'm going to undo the wig clips here and I'm going to clip her in so whenever I'm putting a wig in I just wig on or a wig in I just make sure that my natural hair is pushed out of the way and I'm going to get my thumbs at the back where the label is. I'm going to put the front of the wig about there. And I'm going to pull it on. And I'm going to tuck in my hair at the back. And then I'm going to grab the two ear tabs. Make sure they are aligned with my head. And then we're going to pull her up. Now, she has a lace front. But you can see how natural she looks anyway. So I'm going to pull it up to my hairline, which is about there. And clip her in. 
Now this wig really does remind me of Kelly wig from Godiva Secret Wigs. I might even do a comparison video, you know, an alternative video again with both wigs so you can see. But I just love this one. Case, I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this because I get so much wear out of my Kelly wig. And it really does remind me of it. And again, you know, you don't have to do much to it and you can wear it straight away. You just may want to part it a little bit differently. Remember, the good thing about these Noriko wigs is they respond to your body heat. So just using a little bit of heat on your fingers to just coax it into style really will help. Amazing. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. I haven't had to do anything to it at all. And she's good to go. Such a great wig. I love this one. Stunning. One of my favourites. Really goes with what I'm wearing as well. So again, you can see if I just bring back in the Seville wig to show you the difference in the colour. This is Crimson LR and this is Irish Spice. Both rooted wigs. So I'm going to show you from the side with the mirror first of all. Look at that. Wow. The thing I love about this Kate wig is how it defines into the back of the neck. You know, it's a little bit darker at the, at the nape of the neck. And, you know, it's just really, really pretty. You know, really pretty. I love it. So look at that. Look at the style. Very sexy short style. You know, this is a great wig to have if you're thinking of going short. Well, you want to look feminine at the same time because the longness of the bang, the way it comes around the face, and it's very, very pretty. You know, it's very feminine, this wig, in my opinion. So I might just use my little brush just to brush the back a little bit, just to get the back sitting right there. Let me just check it again. Okay, so again, you know, this is also because of my own hair and it's growing back. Look at that. I love how it tapers into the neck. I think it's really unusual and pretty. Just gives it that feminine effect as well. You could easily put a little clip into this, you know, just to bling it up a little bit. Or you could put it behind your, your ear. You know, you could easily tuck this behind your ears as well if you wanted to, you know, get it out of your face. You could put the whole thing behind your ears if your hair is similar to the colour of the wig. You know, you just pull a little bit down like that maybe. So, you know, you could have it behind one ear and you could have it out of the other ear. So there is things that you can do with this wig as well. So you don't have to have it around your face if you don't want to. But I really do like it like this. And I'm going to order this wig in many, many colours because it's gorgeous. And I'm so excited because when I ordered this wig and the other one in Java Frost, I got them both with discount off because they were doing a discount on Noriko wigs, on Valentine's wigs. And I got this wig for £76. £76. I was like, what a bargain. I think full price it's 112 or something like that, but worth absolutely every penny. So we're just going to do a little turn from the side. Let me just get her back into style. Okay, because I pushed her behind me as well. She's fine like that anyway, but just shows you the style from the side. You know, again, you can have it over your ears or you can push it behind your ears. But obviously, you know, my bio hair is trying to stick out, but that's because it's growing. So I just before I went out, I'd just use the mirror and make sure it was fine. You know, it's not sticking out the wig. From the back, look at this, how it tapers in at the nape. Very pretty. Also goes darker at the nape as well. You've got all this volume. So you can even do that to define the style. You know, really, really pretty, this wig. You could even spray water on and, you know, break up the fibres a little bit. Look at it. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Love it. This is definitely one of my favourites from the Noriko range. Rico, Noriko range. Menopause brain. This is what happens in later life, ladies. So I'm just loving this wig. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. And the reason why I'm not doing both colours in this review video is because these wigs are so amazing. They deserve their own video. They really do deserve it because this Irish Spice colour, it's something else. You know, it's so pretty and beautiful and it goes with anything. It stands out in the sun. You know, you're going to get people watching you and looking at your hair in this wig. You know, you might not want that. But, you know, if you notice someone staring at you and you think, what they're looking at? They're looking at the colour of the wig, you know, the, or the colour of your hair. They don't know it's a wig. They're looking at the colour. I mean, look how natural it looks for a wig that's not got a lace front. Beautiful. 
honestly absolutely beautiful and as I said really does remind me a little bit of the Cali wig from Godiva Secret Wigs and whenever I've worn that I've had compliments I've had people complimenting me on the colour the style you know in that one I've got it in creamy toffee I think it is um I've got it in uh, yeah creamy toffee I've got it in um, I'm just trying to think, Ginger H and Raspberry Ice, that's it. And the Raspberry Ice one I've got in Cali, I wear all the time. And whenever I'm wearing that, people are always asking me where I've had my hair done and where I've had my colour done. I'm like, it's a wig. And they're like, oh. and I know that I'm going to get the same reaction in this one because it's just gorgeous. So I absolutely love it. You love it. I'd say out of all the Noriko wigs I've reviewed so far, this is probably my favourite one. As they say, save the best for last. I have got more coming, but, you know, I just really wanted to jump on and show you this one today so I can actually wear it out and about because it's such a pretty colour and style. So in the next one, we're going to be doing Kate in Java Frost, which is a real popular one. You know, from reading the reviews and stuff, that's one of the most popular colours. So I'm really excited to show you that one as well. But this is the gorgeous Irish Spice in Kate, from Noriko Wicks. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.